Yeah, the, uh, the, the hard rock comes from uh, when, the, when I wrote the uh, first article in Forbes about uh, uh, IBM strategy and what they were going to do with foundation models and generative AI. And, um, and when Watson X came along, uh, granite was a code word that they used for one of the foundation models. And I, I used it in the article and I <laughs> shouldn't have used it in the article, but um, I ended up taking it out. But anyway, now they're they're introducing granite. It's uh, one of the uh, one of the models, large language models that they're going to be putting out. Uh, it's going to support uh, NLP and content generation, summar summarization, and insights and stuff like that. Uh, so it'll be interesting. They've got more models that they'll be introducing, and I won't tell you what the code words are for those. But uh, <laughs> they've also had. Uh, Introduce some well, Watson X is uh, Watson X AI, Watson X data, and Watson X governance. So, mm -hmm. this is stuff all within Watson AI. Um, they're uh, uh, also announced that they're going to have a, a tuning studio in uh, Watson X.AI. Uh, it's going to be the first uh, uh, iteration of a tuning studio. And, uh, tuning studio basically is if you've got these large language models, uh, you can you can get uh, APIs for them, and, and some of them are free. But uh, and rather than you can get them pre-trained, so rather than going through all the millions of dollars to train these, uh, you can get one of these models, and you can you can fine tune it using uh, data for a specific domain, and then you can make it a lot smarter in that particular domain. So they're 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 introducing this tuning studio to enable uh, people to take these large models and they've got uh, workflows and tools that they can use to, to tune these big models into something that can be used without spending so much money on them. So, Hey, then, hey quick, quick yeah. question for you on this, if you don't mind. Um, you know, IBM's way has always been ahead of the market. It seems like everything they do is, you know, they're almost too far ahead of the market. And I mean that in a complimentary way, but you know, Watson's been around forever. AI, they've always been on the kind of the, the leading edge of, of AI. Do yeah. you, you see Watson X and kind of this, um, you know, how they're driving generative and how they're, um, you know, working with customers? Do you see this expanding their, their place in the market kind of, you know, downstream, if you will, from large enterprise into? They've already got, you know, some uh, one of the largest AI groups, I think, around and they've done so much funding on AI. They've been doing it for years. Mm -hmm. I was surprised in some of the people I talked to how far back uh, foundation models and and generative AI goes in, in terms of what, what they've been doing in research and the things I've done from a medical standpoint. I mean, it's been a lot. So uh, IBM's just going to get bigger and better in, in, in AI. So, yeah. Yeah, that's good. One of, the, one of the announcements that they're making also is uh, they're going to have a, uh, a synthetic data generator uh, for uh, use in these models. Uh, you know, you have to train them on, like I say, if you want to, want to train one of these big big foundation models, you've got to uh, you have to have uh, some domain data to, to train it with. Well, sometimes there's not enough data. It may be a private data or something like that. So you can create synthetic data to use to train it, but the synthetic data has to look like the real data. So they've, um, uh, they've got to set up in this uh, uh, synthetic data so that you can take some of your real data and the synthetic data generator will look at it and then create synthetic data to be used in your training. So pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. I, lo I love to see what they're doing. They really do push the market 